Don't create content. Document content. I'm not going to be getting into the gear that I use or the setup or the lighting or anything because frankly all that stuff is irrelevant. I literally have an open window, a janky tripod, and a piece of black cloth hanging in the corner of a room. It's not very fancy. I did spend a little money on this audio gear because I do play music. I'm a bit of an audio snob. But aside from that, it's very basic stuff. The gear doesn't matter. When I first started making YouTube videos, I was doing it all wrong. I was writing full-on scripts, which required me to write and rewrite and rewrite and have somebody check and then rewrite. Um, and I was burning hours upon hours, which means those are hours that I'm not working on my comic book, which is actually my main goal. The first video I had produced as a test pilot was about three minutes long, very dense, full of good information, but it took about 12 hours out of my week, so that wasn't going to fly. I definitely knew that I couldn't dedicate 12 hours a week to a three-minute video once a week. So I thought to myself, how is it that I can create content more efficiently? And that's when it hit me. Don't create content. Document content. The key to squeezing in a YouTube channel to an already bloated schedule came down to just being more efficient. Um, instead of going out of my way to create content for the channel, I decided to document what it is I'm already doing. So if I happen to be penciling, you're getting a penciling video. If I'm inking, you're getting an inking video. I'm not going out of my way to show you a penciling video uh, because that would just take up too much time. So essentially what you're actually getting is a series of mini documentaries. And that's the key. Don't go out of your way to create content. Document the content that you're already creating in different ways. If you're creating art, take a couple pictures of the sketch work along the way. If you're drawing comics, hit record on a time lapse. My formula is very simple. I collect a lot of B-roll, which is basically just setting up a camera and doing my job as an artist or as a writer or whatever. And then I take that footage, edit it, and record some voiceover. That's the only thing that allows me to produce content at this rate with such a busy schedule. It's all about efficiency. So there you go. Overlap your goals and hit that center of the Venn diagram. And you can multiply your productivity, or at least appear like you're doing so.